Hello, I'm here to show you how to use the accessibility checker that's built into Canvas. It's really easy, but it's, an, it's essential because we have people who use screen readers to look at Canvas, especially like parents, and um, we just need to make sure that we're meeting their, their needs. So what you do is you have your page there and you, you go up to the top right and you uh, edit. So you have to be in the edit mode of your page. And then if you look over here to the right side, there's like a little person and there's a three above it, which I assume means there's three issues. But when I click the accessibility checker, it opens me a window and it says you have three, three issues. So the first one it says is that heading levels should not be skipped. So I'm going to show you, um, let me close out of this, let me show you really quickly what that means. Here, this, my heading for the page, if you look here, is on heading two. But this, the content, is on heading four. And screen readers don't like that. They think there's going to be a heading three in between. So what you do instead is you keep them in consecutive numbers. So there's heading three, these are heading four, then this is in paragraph. All right, so I fixed one of them. Then I go back over here, I can open it again, and look at the accessibility. I mean, even if you don't have accessibility issues, you're going to have a hard time reading yellow text on a white background. So I'm going to change the color of this. I'd like to think you wouldn't do that to begin with, but if you wanted to stand out, choose something, you know, darker, maybe something bolder, you know, something that you can see better against the white. I'm just going to go with the standard color, the, the dark blue that I, that I was already using, but maybe I make it bold so that it stands out that way. All right, so now I go back to my accessibility checker, and the third thing it comes up with is the um, alt text. Alternative text is what's read by the screen reader for any image. So you have a couple of options over here. One is it's a decorative image. If it doesn't add to the content, you're just doing it to make it pretty, you can click that and the, and the accessibility checker will just assume, will just ignore it, and a screen reader would ignore it too or you can give it a better name. I believe this is a decorative image, so I would click that. But if but if this were a, a banner that said, don't forget to turn in your federal card on this date, I would probably put that in the alt text so that the screen reader would also read it. When I apply that, now it says, no accessibility issues were detected, and that's all there is to it. But this is a kindness to parents and to students who have issues. So at this point, I could save and publish, and I'm good to go.